Welcome guys, uh, in this video we will be talking about the various stages of tissue culture okay. and uh, we will be looking at each stages of tissue culture and how it is actually achieved. Now the first one we are going to talk about is the meristem culture. After about a couple of weeks of a small seedling comes out, meristem tissue of specific plant gets separated and sterilized is having deposited in due to the culture. There is no room for virus multiplication as cell division of fractional tissue is very very fast in those kind of plants. In this situation, fractional tissues are used to obtain sterile plant. It can be made tissue culture for of any plant such as a plantain, papaw, pineapple, flowers and also the vegetable plants. Part of the plant shoot is taken and apical meristematic tissues like the top region of the plant is taken. This region is rapidly dividing so it is free of virus divisions and you take a splash of this tissue and embed in and de deposit it in the nutrient media which is also having the solidifying agent. Then the budding of the tissue is occurred and a small tree is generated. Then this small tree is taken from here and can be implanted in the soil and further growth of the tree is will be observed. Now the second kind is the bud culture. Now in this bud culture what we can find here mother plant is taken and the slight section from this mother plant is also taken. It is also taken from the meristematic tissue of the terminal layer. It will be deposited in the nutrient media and we do for period and we give all the nutrients for the proper rooting of the sea of the of this cell and rooting is done and root is developed and also shoot is generated and then we take these plants and implant them in the huge vials where they go through the hardening process of the plant and then we, then we finally get the plant bud culture is a method suitable for propagation when impossible to use seeds it can have a massive quantum of seedlings from a bud developed in the artificial nutrient media. Exemplary, this is used in herbs, flowers and other gardening crops. Now the third kind is the embryo culture. Now we are having this embryo with two cotyledons. This is the seed. We take a splash of the seed tissue and we put them into the solidifying me medium. This is a nutrient media so it will help the growth of this plant and plant is grown and rooting and shooting is done. Then you must take up the plant from the solidifying media and put them into the soil for the regeneration. Okay. It is helps it helps to obtain plants from seeds which in which negate the growth of the embryos by splashing adverse matters to dominant seeds or dormant seeds and embryos. Normally what happens we can see that seed can be implanted in the soil and tree can easily grow up from this seed. That's the basic and general rule of nature. But when the seed remains dominant for many times, for many years, then we must take this policy to germinate those seeds. Here an embryo gets separated from a seed and cultivated in the culture media to the different way. So the splash of the tissue we have taken from the seed must contain the intact embryo. Otherwise the seed cannot grow. Now the fourth kind of culture is the pollen on the anther culture. Here we select the anthers from this flower. Then we remove, remove the filament from these anthers and we will place them into this culture in the solid media. Now this is the media which must have uh, a huge surface area because of the growth because this in this anther culture we must use the agar plates or a long or huge vials like this. We can plate them in the liquid medium, we can place them in the solid medium. In both the ways the tree will come up and we take them and re-implant them in the soil. It is an important method in breeding a plant with a new species. Though the anther is deployed, pollen is haploid. Pollen culture is progressed to obtain the homogeneous plant within a little number of generations. Haploid plants obtained through this method can be made up of deployed conditions by adding chemicals like colchicine. 
Colchicine is a very very important chemical which act as a poison during the chromosome separation of meiosis. Okay. Now we will be seeing the callus culture. Now in this callus culture you must separate and take a small part of the meristematic tissue and embed them in the solid medium and the cell is dividing rapidly and will produce a cluster of cell aggregates here. This cell cl cluster is totiopotent that means they can give rise to the whole plant. Now they will go on dividing and will produce a hard shaped. This is not merely hard shaped structure uh, so it will elongate and uh, it will make different shape changes like hard then torpedo shape and then finally embed themselves into the solid medium and they are developing to produce the seed leaves to the root and finally they will produce the complete plant. Now this callus tissue is a group of cells made improperly. It is an uncontrolled cellular growth which in turn is a form like cancerous cells. It can get developed uh, any live plant tissue making culture in the media with specific hormone. Now this is the most important part about this callus culture you have to select the specific hormones for the callus growth or the uncontrolled growth if the medium does not contain these important ingredients or hormones the callus production will be halted type of hormone and concentration to be used differ on the crop species there may be some sort of useful inherited differences in the plant obtained under this method these inherited differences help to improve plants are called the so soma clonal variations. It, this, it can help polyploidy plants such as the triploid and tetraploid and so forth. Because in normal situations these polyploidy plants cannot produce plants on their own. And finally we'll be talking about the protoplast culture as the name suggests we'll be taking a small part from this leaf which is a part of the protoplast and we'll take this part of the leaf and first we make the sterilizing treatment and then the protoplasmic solution will be made by adding all these leaf sections and and produce and we extract the solution and we centrifuge it we take uh, this nutrient part from here and then we, pr we we take this from this portion and we give a cellulose and pectinase as an enzyme here and then we put uh, in the media and we take these droplets and put in the medium again and then from the media a new cell will start to grow now this is a kind of technique is totally different than those kind those in the previous techniques because in all, in all other previous techniques we have talked about we have taken the tissue directly from the plant region and implant them in the solid but here we are producing uh, the solution from this tissue part the aggregate from this tissue part and then, then utilize that aggregate for the development of the tree now protoplast is a cell without cell wall remain cell having removed cell wall using enzyme has an ability to be utilized with another protoplast as well by this method it can make hybrid even among crops which is having far distant relationships between each other okay it is called the distant hybridization because suppose so let me take a color here and describe you a little bit about this protoplast fusion for example if we are having two protoplast one is this protoplast I am denoting it uh, this way because uh, this is uh, a cell with, without the cell wall and this is another protoplast these two protoplast are there both are having all this uh, important ingredients inside there and after some time what will happen when these two protoplast will fuse when you end up with a structure like this this fusion of protoplast will give rise to a huge cell which is having both of the important ingredients inside them okay and that that's how we can make hybrids of distantly related plant species okay so each of the different types of cell culture are important they are important for their unique features and we utilize them for for our desired purposes 
but another very important part about this protoplast culture is that the deposition now enzymes such as cellulose and pectin are used to decay cell wall of the plants when we implant them in this nutrient media later they are released to a briny liquid medium included protoplast mannitol or sorbitol this liquid medium is not shown here but once they start to germ grow we must separate them in this liquid medium which is having sorbitol and mannitol protoplast obtained by this way can be cultured in a nutrient media by washing out unwanted enzymes with a briny liquid uh, similar to the cell plasmo plasmosmotic pressure this protoplast culture are most useful in somatic embryogenesis somatic hybridization and mutagenesis in the genetic engineering that's about the protoplast culture and i hope this will help you and we have talked about the various stages of cell culture techniques 